I said just now, that we have visuals, we have recordings. Uh, these recordings and visuals uh, from beginning to end are being analyzed and it will be uh, focused on very specific issues that have been labeled at the police and at the government. I hope the foreign media especially uh, in sensationalizing something, please be responsible because when the facts do come out in respect of the numbers, in respect of allegations of certain incidents, uh, in respect of injuries sustained, and the death of an individual uh, that has been alleged to be uh, caused by the police um, with the visuals that come out, um, which will then be brought forward to the Attorney General, I think they will need to come up and either explain uh, how they can actually report such a thing if it's not true. But at the end of the day, let the Attorney General uh, look at the, the visuals. What I'm just saying is that we have enough proof for the public to judge later. So I'm just ex expecting that uh, the media uh, to be fair in, in, in reporting it. Um, we, pictures can be selective, uh, but we have the whole footage. And the police are going to reveal, we've got nothing to hide, uh, the whole uh, um, uh, clips uh, of it, better still based on certain uh, incidents that have been uh, um, said uh, to show that police have uh, actually uh, abused their powers. And uh, that's one. Secondly, I'm saying is that uh, the police have done very well because the, the situation could have been much, much worse if you see the two different groups uh, heading each other uh, if proactive measures are not taken uh, in respect of the findings of certain um, uh, items that may have caused um, a bigger um, and more serious situation. My concern is the security of the nation and the safety of our people. And that 10,000 people do not represent 27 million Malaysians.